Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're going to look at uniform distributions and use that distribution to determine some probabilities. So here we have our uniform distribution, our rectangle shape, and what we know is the time it takes to pressure wash a driveway is uniformly distributed over an interval of 40 to 90 minutes. So that makes our B value up here 90 minutes our A value down here of 40 minutes. We also remember that 100% of the possible values of X are included within this interval and there are no probabilities associated with the area beyond 90 and no probabilities associated with the area below 40 minutes. So let's begin by finding the mean of, the, of this uniform distribution. So we know that the formula for the mean is simply B plus A divided by 2. So I have my B of 90 minutes, my A of 40 minutes. I add those together, divide them by 2, and now I know the mean is 65 minutes. So 50% of the values of X will fall between 65 minutes and 90 minutes, and the other 50% of the values of X will fall between 40 and 65 minutes. While we're at it, we'll calculate the standard deviation of this distribution. And so we knew from an earlier video that the standard deviation of a uniform distribution is found by ta taking B minus A and dividing it by this square root of 12. Always the square root of 12 for this distribution. And so I have my B of 90 minutes minus my A of 40 minutes divided by that square root of 12. I carried it out three decimal places. And so what we know is the standard deviation is 14.34 minutes. Now let's look and say, well, what is the probability that it will take longer than 50, to 50 minutes to pressure wash this driveway? And so we've simply converted this to say the probability that X is greater than or equal to 50 minutes. So the way that we do that is we identify x2 and x1. So I know my distribution ends at 90 minutes. So that becomes x2. And we wanted to know between 50 and 90 minutes. And so this becomes my value of x1. So I'm going to take x2, 90, minus my 50 minute x1 divided by the entire width of the distribution, remember B minus A, and that comes out to 0 0.80 or 80%. So what we can say is that the probability that it will take someone longer than 50 minutes to pressure wash their driveway is going to be 80%. All right, so now we want to know, well, what is the probability then that it will take them less than 60 minutes? So here's my 60 minutes. I want to know the probability of less than, and I know the least amount of time it can take is 40 minutes because beyond 40, there are no probabilities. So we're just simply going to say probability at x less than or equal to 60. So 60 is my x2, 40 is my x1. So I'm going to take x2, 60, minus x1 of 40 and then remember B minus A. And we remember that those were the boundaries of our interval. So I take 60 minus 40 divided by 90 minus 40 comes out to 0 0.40 or there's about a 40% probability that someone will be able to pressure wash their driveway in less than 60 minutes. So what if we want to know what is the probability associated with, being, with it taking between 50 and 70 minutes? So this green area is the area that I'm interested in. So between 50 and 70 minutes. So 70 becomes my x2. 50 becomes my x1. So I'm going to plug in x2 minus x1. 70 minus 50. And remember my b was the top of my interval at 90 minutes. a was the bottom of my interval at 40 minutes. So I take my 70 minus 50, 90 minus 40, and it comes out to 
so there's a 40% probability that someone will be able to pressure wash their driveway and it will take them between 50 and 70 minutes. So as you can see the uniform distribution is pretty straightforward. I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.